and we're gonna tell it like it is. So here's the truth. Good morning. Yesterday was a little bit of a rough day for us, I'll admit. Uh, not having our accommodation work out. Thankfully, we were able to walk just like a block away and get a new place. Without any furry friends. And wake up to the most amazing view. Oh, wow. Really is something to wake up to. We have hired a driver for the day and we are spending the day exploring Nusa Penita, but there is so much rain in the forecast. What do you do on a beach when it rains? Uh, I guess if you were gonna go swimming, who cares, right? Cause you're already gonna get wet. Uh, well, we're about to find out. So come explore Nusa Penita with us. We are off. Every day I wake up and I wonder, is today the day I have to learn how to use a squatty potty? <laughs> It started raining about two minutes after I recorded today's introduction. Turns out we forgot our credit card at the hotel and they sent a motorbike after us with our card to get it back to us. How nice was that? So nice. Also, yes, the roads are really bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> the things I noticed. Oh, well, we've arrived at our first beach which I'm sure I'm gonna say it wrong, clinking beach. <laughs> and it's a bit of a short walk from where we parked and it's absolutely pouring out. But it's our first beach, yay! This is clinking beach. It's also known as T-Rex beach because if you look right there, you can probably see what looks like, <laughs> what looks like the head of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. It is so cool to see a beach that we've seen in so many videos, even if it is in the rain, it's still amazing. And the water is so aqua blue, and my hair is wet. <laughs> <laughs> There's people down there. We're gonna see if we can walk down to that ledge. There's no sense in going to the beach, we think, because we've heard there's some pretty bad riptides and it's raining anyway. And apparently Tyrannosaurus Rexes do this. <laughs> Heather thinks she's rather funny. These are very steep stairs. They go up to about my knee. Yep. And above Heather's knee. <laughs> Our eyes wander the room when it gets quiet. Jet ski tour? I think we count nine or ten jet skis plus the boat. Kind of a bumpy day. The whole view here and actually the weather even reminds me very much of coastal England. It's raining. Yeah, we're in the tropics, so it's a bit warmer, uh, but England in the summer wouldn't be that different. But the limestone cliffs, the general kind of foggy look to everything, it's very much like England. It's very pretty, it's beautiful. Well, we seem to have run out of stairs and instead have limestone <laughs> that takes us down to the ridge. So we are going to err on the side of caution this time, something that we don't usually do. <laughs> and we are going to head back up instead of continuing to head down. Our legs are already trembling and the view from here was worth the climb just to this spot. So we're happy, we feel accomplished. Let's go back up. It'll be hard to get a perspective on how steep these stairs are. From my position here, that just looks straight up. Oh, you like that? <laughs> A little bit easier if you're six foot one and have longer legs. We were the only car when we got here. Not anymore. There's some more up there too. We've arrived. Looks like there's a few people here. <laughs> look at this. Oh, hey, we found the people. <laughs> oh, look at them all. Billabong. These waves are amazing. They're huge and the swells that go up and down. I mean, I don't know how many feet it's going up and down. It looks like it's 12, 20, 25. Wow, this is amazing. Uh, this is why there's so many people here. It's so cool. I'm willing to bet that we spent a lot longer here than our driver expected. We've seen a lot of other people come and go. 
Bill couldn't resist flying the drone and honestly the waves are just mesmerizing and you just want to watch for that really big wave to go off. which we saw several. Uh, this was an amazing stop. My favorite so far of the day. I'm so glad it stopped raining. We've been climbing around on the coral. Carefully climbing around. And this is what happens when there's multiple drone flyers in the same place at the same time. This is called Broken Beach. I wonder if it's broken because there's really no way to get there except by boat. It should be called Boat Beach. Wait for the waves to go down. There's a beach, I promise. Right there, right there, right there. This is so funny. There are these perches all along the cliffs. So you can stand on them and get the perfect <laughs> Instagram photo. I've just never seen no anything beach. like this. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's a breeze, there's a rooster crowing, birds chirping. This is beautiful. I gotta stop saying beautiful. I need a new word. If you know another word, <laughs> You better tell me it. Oh my God, we're going through a field. Oh, this is so amazing. Wait, where do we go? Oh gosh, I do not want to get lost again. And the landscape doesn't end with just broken beach. It just keeps going. This would be a great area to explore, I think, on kayaks. If you were a strong paddler, some pretty, uh, pretty rough seas, I think. Walking around here, this is a lot easier than walking around the first beach we went to called King Kling. Kling -king. <laughs> I'm sure we're both saying that wrong. Uh, but anyway, the biggest thing you got to worry about here is really just getting in other people's photos. Uh, there are plenty of people taking lots of photos. Uh, we're a little surprised actually at how many tourists are here, but it's, it's certainly not overwhelming. We can see where it might be busier, you know, in the, the peak times. There's a lot of cafes built up here, so there's a lot of, uh, a lot of tourist services. It's nice. Crystal Bay, like everything else today, it's beautiful. And we're just watching the waves roll in. There's some outrigger boats and some, looks like snorkel trips. And just a lot of happy tourists, including us. And the beach chairs, which are pretty nice, for a grand total of 50,000 rupiah, which is about $3.50, which is fantastic. This Crystal Beach is so nice. Just a few tourists really, and a lovely beach. There's a mix of brown and black sand. A little more black where we happen to be sitting, but anyway, that's, that's kind of fun. It's also the easiest sand I think I've ever walked on on a beach. You don't sink into it, it's very, very strange. It's just, uh, just a really nice place to be. There's even a temple right on the beach. If you want to go take a look, but you have to be properly dressed. All right, this is what it is. To answer a question from earlier on this trip, is today the day? I want you all to know that today was the day. Today I conquered my fear of squatty potties. It was the only option available here at the beach. I had been sitting at the chair while Bill was filming everything, wondering, can I hold it till we're back at the hotel? No, I had too much to drink for lunch. <laughs> I know this is an awkward topic to talk about, but you need to know if you're going to travel to Indonesia and we're going to tell it like it is. So here's the truth. My first time using a squatty potty was today. <laughs> Fear conquered. Got a little 
little bit of sun today. That's surprising given how the day started out, I have to admit. We just arrived at our second hotel and this place is just under $40 a night. And you can see a row of what the places look like behind me. The pool looks amazing. We are about to get on that. Uh, but why don't I show you just really, really quick what just under $40 gets you on Nusa Panita. We get towel art with a flower. We get some more flowers on the bed. A really unique inside, which is why I'm using the wide angle lens. It's like an upside down boat. <laughs> it's really cool. And I mean that literally because the air conditioning here is fantastic. And we have a kettle and some bottled water. And the bathroom is one of these indoor outdoor ones. So that is outside. <laughs> <laughs> and our sink, hi, and our shower and toilet. And again, that is the outside. We run into that a lot here in Bali. It's a thing to have the bathroom outside. It is something I'm not accustomed to, but it's kind of neat. I'm getting used to it. She's scared of bugs coming <laughs> after her. <laughs> Hey, there are places you do not want mosquito bites. <laughs> and with that, we're going to go jump in the pool and grab some dinner and probably continue to explore Nusa Panita on the next video. Catch you next time. Subscribe!